G'day, my name is Chris Mufflard and I'm a project engineer at Figure Software. Welcome to the Production Controlling Video Training Series Level 4 using the resource histogram. In this vignette, we're going to discuss what is a resource histogram and why it is a useful analysis tool, how we navigate to the resource histogram, and how we populate the resource histogram. The resource histogram is a Vico Schedule Planner report produced so that we can analyze the total number of man hours for all the tasks or one task in the construction schedule. In this example, we can see that the summary target line is telling us the distribution of those man hours over weeks for this project. Our cumulative amount is a target total man hours of approximately 48,000. When we add our data date, we know to the left indicates what has been actualized and to the right what is forecasted based off that historical performance. When we add our pink summary forecast line, we can start to see how that actualized performance trends into the future. Almost always, the forecasted hours will be different from our target. We can see that our forecast, based off that actualized data, is telling us that roughly 43,000 man hours will be required to complete this project. This is nearly 2,000 less hours required overall to complete the same amount of tasks. When we add our histogram target bars, we can start to see the distribution of those man hours by week. At the peak, we're looking at roughly 1900 hours per week to reach our target completion milestone. When we add the forecast lines, we can start to see the actual performance that we've achieved on site. To the left of the data line, we can see that we're almost meeting production, whereas to the right, we're looking at the average forecast required to complete the project. At the peak, we're looking at nearly 100 hours less per week at 1800. We can start to analyze the difference between the heights of these bars to see that less hours will be required to complete the same amount of scope based off this actualized production. From any view, we can head to our side navigation bar to the resource histogram view. The template arrives blank, but it's important to note a few different things. First of all, we should be in control mode. And second of all, when creating a resource histogram, we want to ensure that we have selected a custom view to which we are trying to track. In this instance, we're going to create a resource histogram for all tasks within our schedule. Let's get started by heading to the settings dialog in the bottom left hand corner. The resource histogram filter will now need to be created. We'll start by creating a new resource histogram. We can modify, we can modify the name here. We have an option to select the quantifying unit. Again, this is important if we were looking at a specific subtrade or subset of activities. In this instance, we're going to look at the total number of hours for the project. So this is the most appropriate unit. The units within this box will be a selection of the bills of quantities that have been imported from Vico Office. Within the filter, we have the option to understand the resources, the quantity, the costs, or look at individual tasks. We're going to look at the resources in this example to gain a better understanding of the total time that it will take to complete this project. We will now need to select the empty cost type and empty suppliers. If these are entered, then we would be able to further filter our resource histogram by these types. We can now select the next function. As we selected resources, each of the resource types will show up in this filter. We can now select individual resource types. However, we're going to look at the whole project so we can select all. In our final view, we can now select what we'd like to see in our resource histogram. We can show the target, current, and forecast in both the histogram and the summary graph. Finally, we can adjust the bar width. If we show the daily rate, it will be a very detailed in look into exactly what's happening on a daily basis. If we start to look out further week or month, then we start to lose that granularity but get an overall bigger picture of the project. In this example, the weekly bar width will be sufficient. Voila, we have created a resource histogram for the all tasks view for this project. In this vignette, we've learned that the resource histogram is a very useful tool in analyzing historical production and trending that into the future to gain further analysis of the forecast. The resource histogram can be used to assess different quantity types by day, week, or month. 